Hello there, and welcome to probably the most niche thing you're going to watch for the next six months. So I recently hit a thousand subscribers, and I decided to celebrate. I'll do a tier list of all of the Bitwig instrument devices. Um, I did one for the effects there, uh, probably about six, seven, eight months ago, somewhere in that region, between six months and a year ago. And um, I was asked to do a follow-up, and I said I would do it for my 1,000 subscriber special, which is which this is. So, welcome. Um, so, j um, just before I start, I'd just like to thank everybody who subscribed over the, the, the last few weeks and got me up to 1,000 subscribers. Um, and indeed, to those who will subscribe in future. Uh, it's very exciting for me. So, um, yeah, there's a few things coming up as well, just in case you're wondering. I'm going to do another um, long-form tutorial like I did for Surge for Vital. And I'm going to be continuing to cover all of the Bitwig devices as well as some other plugins. So, very exciting. Now, down to the criteria for the tier list. Just a quick explanation of what a tier list is, just in case anybody doesn't know, but I'm sure you probably do. Um, S tier is the best. A is really good, but not the best. B is like middle. C is like kind of not that great, but, uh, you know, still okay. And then D is bad, okay? So... Um, I'm going to be doing this entirely based on my own personal opinion. Um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments if you if you if you differ to me in your opinion. Um, and yeah, don't get mad. It's, it's a bit of fun, you know. Don't get mad if I rate, you know, your favorite synth um, or your favorite whatever badly. It's okay, you know. You make your own list. All right. Okay, so let's start. I know the pictures are kind of difficult to make out, but uh, I did my best. So I'll just say what each of them are. So we're starting with E-Clap. Okay, so the, uh, just a quick note on the the drum modules in general, the, the drum instruments. Um, I think they're actually really underrated with... Um, the modulations, if you add those in and modulate some of the controls, you can actually get quite a lot of sounds out of them. Um, that includes E-Clap, but I still don't like it that much. I almost never use it. So, uh, for that reason, I'm going to put it in C tier. It's actually pretty good. You can get good sounds out of it, but I don't ever, ever use it. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that. Next, we have... E cowbell, which is actually really good. You can key track it, so you can make it like a little synth with a with a ring modulator and stuff. Um, it's really good with modulations, uh, like adding envelopes to uh, the pitches and the offsets and stuff like that. And the ring modulation mouth, you can get really cool sounds out of it. Um, for that reason, uh, and for the fact that it's a cowbell, so it would be an A tier, uh, but given that it is a cowbell, I feel I have to put it in S tier. So it's going in S tier. Um, largely because it's a cowbell. Um, this, it's not apparent what this is. Uh, this is a very badly taken picture of DC offset with some modulations in it. Um, just before I say anything about it, this is clearly S tier, right? So we'll put it up there and then we'll discuss it about. Uh, you can turn any of the modulators into a synth, basically. You can use weird shape and stuff with like the math and the, the polynom and loads of stuff like that. You can use the steps modulator as an oscillator. Um, I don't think I need to say any more. I did an entire video where I made an entire song out of DC Offset, um, including doing unison voices and stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it down below. But DC Offset is S tier. Um, the only instrument that's not really an instrument is the drum machine, which only holds other things like the sampler or uh, the drum modules or something like that. Um, it's it, 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 it. I use it all the time, so. It, it is like one of the best in there, but for the fact that it's not really an instrument, I feel I have to kind of knock it down just a touch. So we're gonna put it here probably in the A, the A kind of category, I would say. Um, yeah, uh, E-Tom uh, is D, uh, because it's basically just E-Kick again, um, with a different name, which is lazy. So you could have put another thing in there, it's but it's not. It's just E kick again, but it's it, it just has a different name. So I'm not done with that. Um, now we've got FM4, contentious one. Um, I would say FM4 is actually quite good, right? With the modulations and stuff and the 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 matrix, um, it is actually pretty uh, versatile. However. I'm going to rank it, uh, I'm, 
I'm torn between C and D, okay? The reason I want to put it in C is because it is actually quite usable. You can get really good sounds out of it. You could easily make a good track with it. Um, the reason I want to put it in D is I just, I feel like whenever I look at the devices, when I think of the one that needs an update the most, I would say it's probably FM4. I see so much potential for it becoming like operator in Ableton where they give you more control over the oscillators and give you like a little additive, you know, little additive thing that you can make your own oscillators in. That'd be huge. Um, they're probably not going to do that, but if they did, that would be cool. Um, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to put it in D tier, but it's definitely better than E. -tom. Do you know what? I don't feel it's fair to put anything else in with E Tom because E Tom is so lazy. So I'm going to put it in C tier. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean it's bad, but uh, I'm going to put it. Yeah, I'm going to put it in C, I think. Then we have uh, the grid here, which is uh, obviously D. Um, a load of wires, really hard to use. Um, yeah, but clearly D. Okay, I'm joking. The grid obviously goes at the top. There should really just be a, a very top one for just the grid, but I haven't done that, so it's the top of S. Um, then we have uh, E hat. E hat is. Uh, I, I feel like it can't really go up here, but it's definitely it's definitely high A. Um, with modulations on E hat, man, you can get a lot done. You can get a lot done. You got a you got a little FM section in there. You got a little comb filter action going on. You got you you got the noise. Um, you got like, filtering capabilities in there. Um, it's got a cool GUI with lots of colors. Um, I'm gonna put that high A for now. It's my it's my my favorite. A. Nah, drum machine's better, but it's 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 up there. It's up there. It's brilliant. It's probably the best drum module, I would have to say. Uh, next, we have E Kick, which is the older brother of E Tom. I'm assuming they made E Kick first and then made E Tom. That's that would make sense to me, but maybe they didn't. Uh, e Kick is actually really good. You know, you get modulators involved. I think the controls here, um, you can make a lot of cool stuff, but you know, you. It's not mega versatile, but once you bring in the modulators and you start modulating these envelopes a little bit, you can get a lot happening out of here. Pair this up with a sampler with with an attack sample in it, or a little noise oscillator. It's game over. Game over. You got all the kicks you want, and for that reason, I'm gonna put it in high A tier because it's it's not quite it's not quite S. I don't think. Uh, then we've got polymer. This is polymer. Um, the middle here is, is dying, is absolutely, there's nothing going in the middle. Hopefully something comes up that can go in the middle. Um, polymer is, it, I mean, it's, it's the grid basically, but it's, um, it's, it's just, it's not, a, you can open it up to be the grid. It's basically just the grid. It's another interface for the grid with some stuff in there. Um, this, okay, um, is probably the instrument that I use the most. Uh, it, for pretty much any kind of bread and butter sound, this is what you want. This is this this will do ninety percent of what you need it to do most of the time. Um, and for that reason, it's gotta go up an S. I feel like I need to shake up the middle. Something needs to go B. Let's put E kick, E kick and B because it's not that special. It's good, but something needs to happen in B. So let's let's demote E kick. Even, nah, I don't want to demote E kick. E kick is really good and so is e hat you know what let's put the drum machine in b because it's not really an instrument it's kind of like an honorary contender so for that reason i think we can demote it a bit even though it is great that's what we'll do okay organ um i am thinking of making uh something where i make an entire song out of organ because organ is sick um i'm it's one of my favorites uh, i use it a lot and it is definitely not S tier. I'd like it to be. It can be. If, if you use it right, this can be S tier. But I feel it's unfair to put this in S tier. So we're going to put it in A. And you know what? Now that I think of it, I think probably the problem with the list is I'm, I'm going too hard on the S. So I'm going to take... I'm not taking E cowbell out of there. I'm going to take DC offset here and put it in high A. 
Okay. Then we're going to take E kick and E ha and yeah, we're going to take E kick. We're going to put it in B. Okay. And then we've got E clap. E clap is significantly worse than those. That's the problem. Um, nah, it's not. It's not. It belongs in C. And then, you know what? I'm going to put FM4 down in D. I think, I think that's fair. Uh, phase 4 is S tier. Um, it's fantastic. Um, it's it's the one that I go to second most after probably Polygrid. Um, it's uh, crazy for sound design. It has a great sound and filter. You can FM the filter, and uh, it sounds it sounds great. It sounds immense. It's one of the it's one of the best sound and synths that I use. Um, I'm a big fan of it. So that's a, an easy S tier. I feel it's above. It's above Polymer, even though I use it more. And obviously, Cowbell is at the top, and then the grid is second to Cowbell. I'm happy. I like the way that's looking. Okay, so next we have, um, I'm not sure, is that Polygrid? Or Polygrid, is that uh, Polysynth? I think that is Polysynth. Um, Polysynth. Polysynth is, is really good, again, um, I use it a lot. The problem with Polysynth is a lot of the things that I used to use Polysynth for, I now use Polymer for. And uh, it's cool, It's I like the filter section, you got, loads of little, you got loads of different drive modes, you got different ways of mixing the oscillators as well, which is cool. Um, you can bring in the sub oscillators as well on, on each one, which I like. And um, I'll tell you what lets Polysynth down, I'm not, I'm not extremely fond of the Unison. Um, I wish that they would update it with another uh, second Unison version that's the same as what we've got in um, in uh, Polymer. And I would like that. I would be happy with that. And I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it in B tier, but I'm going to have a, a caveat here and say that pre-Polymer, this would have been high A tier, Okay. Okay. The sampler. Um, I feel like C tier needs more stuff. We'll worry about that in a second. The sampler, we're going to have to get harder on, on S tier, I'm afraid. Because too much stuff is going in there. Um, and it's kind of diminishing the prestige of being in S tier. Because like pretty much everybody's up there. The sampler is, is S tier. Um, so like the grid, it's unfair to compare things to the grid. Because the grid has sampler in it. But the sampler is the sampler is my favorite bitwig instrument. That's not the grid, okay? So it's you know, it's up here. I, I load this up all the time. It's a great sound design tool. Do you know what? It will go. It will go lower S tier because there are some improvements that definitely need to be made to it, and I think that that. <sighs> You see, I, usually with the improvements being needed, I would put it in A tier, but because it's so good, it transcends the fact that it needs, you know, um, the time stretching modes to be put in there and maybe a native slicer. Um, it, it, it transcends that with its abilities and becomes S tier. But now we have some work to do in S tier because we now have far too many things up here. So, I think I'm going to... Sorry, hit the mic there. I think I'm going to take... This is hard for me, actually. I think I'm going to take Polymer out of here. And I think I'm going to take E-hat and bring it to B-tier. So what we've done is we've kind of upgraded the prestige level of A. Um, and B has become actually quite good now. So it's a, we've got a strong B section. Uh, now, let's have a look at whatever this is. Is this E-snare? E-snare is a really good way to make snares. Um, it has all the controls that you'd want to make a snare. And you can put it through some distortion, compress it a bit, and it sounds great. Um, uh, but, but even though my review of it is flawless, um, I never use it, so it's going in C-tier. So, finally, uh, we have Test Tone. Okay, Test Tone uh, is, uh, just makes a sine wave at a particular frequency. I have, um, actually, if you'd like me to make a, an entire song out of Test Tone and make a video out of it, I'm I'm happy to do that. If you'd like to see that, that could be fun. Um, but, I mean, Test, here is, T Test Tone is clearly, is clearly D tier here. 
Um, so let's just have a final look at this and see, are we kind of happy with what we're seeing? So e cowbells obviously S tier. The grid's obviously S tier. Phase four is obviously S tier. Sampler's obviously S tier. I've taken polymer. I, I can't take polymer out of there. I know it's S tier heavy, but I've got to put polymer back up there. Um, let's see. Between these two, organ is better than DC offset, even though DC offset is great. Um, you know, I just really like E hat. I want to put it up here. I'm putting it up there. I'm putting it up there as the highest ranked drum module that's not the absolute hybrid monster synth that is Cowbell, which is up there. Um, I'm putting it I'm putting it in A. Um, I'm happy with polysynth and high B. I, I, I really want to put the drum machine up there, but it's not an instrument, so we gotta we gotta downgrade it. E kick. I like I wanna put E kick up in A as well, but I'm gonna leave it in B. Uh, then we've got E-Clap. I'm happy with where that is, but I think it's below E-Snare. Uh, then we've got E-Tom, which is absolute dead last. Then Test-Tone is definitely better. FM4 is good. I'm really underrating FM4. FM4 should be C-Tier because it is good. It's very usable. Um, I just I just see so much so much more potential in it. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. So, that's the final list. Um... Let me know what, what you think. What, what's your list? Do you know? Do you, do you disagree vehemently with some of my, my suggestions? Um, you shouldn't, because they're facts. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, see you again.